Good afternoon guys, my name is Connor, I got an anti-post bet for Cheltenham 2021 here. Uh, the horse I like is Janica, I think this year he's going to run in the Coral Cup, which is run on the Wednesday over 2 mile 4, it's a handicap. Um, so he started off life in the UK in 2018, come over from France into Nicky Henson's yard, probably recognised the colours of Simon Mineo and Isaac Swade. Um, started off life as a 145 chaser. Couple of uh, second place efforts took his mark up to a mark of one five six. He then ran at the Cheltenham Festival off that mark in the brown plate again, came in second. A really respectable effort, takes some doing, especially off a high enough high mark like that to win a Cheltenham Festival handicap. Hotly contested, everyone's out to win. Um, Nicky Henderson then sent him onto the top of uh, Aintree. Uh, got put up six pounds for that run in the brown plate, so now he's up to a mark of one six two. Again, really good effort. Uh, top weight, 11 stone 12. Lugging that round, uh, Aintree. Not the biggest of horses either. Uh, jumping the national fences, no problem. Fourth place, that's a solid effort for me. Given a break then, uh, his sort of options are, have come to an end, should we say, as a handicap. And now 162, you're not going to be winning a handicap off that mark. He's then tried in graded company in the uh, Holden Gold Cup at Exeter. Um, the form of that race is questionable. He did win it with uh, Dolos of Paul Nichols and Destria of the Skeletons in behind. Um, he was giving away weight that day again, I think £7 to the second, so it does make that form a little bit stronger. Nicky Henderson then decided to try his luck with him in the in the Tingle Creek. Grade 1 chase, you know, one of the best two-mile chases uh, in Britain, run every year. Um Decent effort, 10 lengths plus behind top two top uh, two mile chasers in Underso and Daffy de Sol. Uh, I think waiting patiently as well was just ahead of him. Decent effort. Um, he then went to the Clarence House chase. Again, behind those two uh, top two milers, uh, Underso and Daffy de Sol. Um, so he's been a bit of a sticky situation, really. Like he, he can't go handicapping and he's just shy of grade one, grade one company. Um, in between those two runs is the run I'm particularly interested in, is the Ralkiel, he ran in the Ralkiel Hurdle at Cheltenham, a grade two race, didn't win that day, come fourth, a decent effort considering that was his first run over hurdles in almost two years since he was over in France, uh, so first that day was Somerville Boy, uh, next time out he went on to run, run within a length and a half of Paisley Park in the Cleave, albeit over a longer distance. Somerville Boy then went on to run in the Stayers Hurdle at the festival. Uh, grade 1 race, championship race, he came, he came respectable fifth that day. Um, Roxana, the mayor, second in the Ralkiel, won the mayor's hurdle a couple of years ago. Um, they've upped her to uh, three miles this season, and the skeletons have really reaped the rewards. Uh, two grade twos in the bag, and also a grade 1 placed effort in the long walk hurdle. Uh, Ascot behind Paisley Park and Time Hill. Uh, third place that day was William Henry for Nicky Henderson again. Interestingly, this horse won the Coral Cup for Connections the year prior to this race. It's an interesting little angle. Fifth place that day, uh, one place behind Janica, was Quell Destin. He immediately followed up with a win in the Contenders Hurdle. Uh, after that race, he re-opposed against uh, the horse I've just mentioned, the third place horse from the Royal Keel, William Henry. Um, they faced off in the National Spirit and a first and and came first and second. That all gives the Relkia from 2020 a solid look for me. The form's rock solid. Um, I think that a reproduction of that run for Janica would be good enough to win the Coral Cup. Uh, his life's made even easier by being off such a low mark of 145. So I've worked out the mean uh, rating of the winner of the Coral Cup for the past 10 years. Um, it comes out of bang on Janica's rating, 145. It's perfect, the music to my ears. Nicky Henderson also has a decent record in the race, uh, winning the race three times in the past 10 years. Uh, you may remember Damja Company last year, uh, William Henry as previously mentioned, and also Whisper. Uh, Janica has recently had a prep run at Ascot. I liked what I saw. Um, Travelled nicely, jumped slickly. Zara Jacob gave him a couple of uh, nudges coming around the home turn at Ascot. Uh, cruised into contention, um, approaching the last. Um, with it being his first run of the season, he's given a easy time of it uh, after the last. Um, I think with one eye to one of the Cheltenham Festival handicaps, 
hopefully the car rocket, hopefully I got this right. I think it's shooting down to the ground. Obviously he's he's going into that Ascot race off one four seven. Being dropped two pounds subsequently, which is which is perfect. This horse is used to contesting big field handicaps. Don't think the switch back from fences to hurdles is going to pose any problems for him. I don't th based on the Raukiel form. Uh, I don't think this horse is fifteen pounds worse over hurdles than what he is over fences, as it, as the mark he's been given su it suggests. Um, based on last year's run in the Coral Cup, he'd be carrying eleven stone free racing weight compared to last year when over fences in the Brown Plate. He was carrying eleven stone twelve, the same as he did in the Topham as well. So a lower racing weight makes his life e even easier. I think this horse is actually a ridiculous price, um, considering he went off around two to one to win a Grade Two Rail Keel like a year, a year or so ago. You can only get fifties for him to win a handicap off a mark of one four or five. Um, that is non -run, that is not non runner no bet. That's with William Hill a uni bet. I think the most sensible thing to do, although I haven't done that, I've taken the fifties. Uh, would be to back it with Paddy Power or Betfair, who are currently offering thirty three to one non runner no bet. So if I have got this wrong and he lines up somewhere else or he doesn't go to the festival, at least you get your money back. Thank you for watching. Uh, this will be my first YouTube video. Um, from this channel you can expect more content like uh, what I've put up today, more tips for Cheltenham. I'll try and get a few more up before the festival begins. Hopefully land a winner or two. Um, in future I'd like to do some more educational videos, uh, pass on the knowledge that I've picked up over the last few years following the sport and pass that knowledge on to my uh, subscribers. Cheers.